All right, now I'd like to introduce you to the Butterfly Pavilion. The Butterfly Pavilion is the world's only standalone invertebrate zoo dedicated to transforming the way we think about these critical animals. Invertebrates are responsible for making up most of the world's pollinators and oftentimes carry the weight of the world, literally. Well, here to tell us more about invertebrates, the Butterfly Pavilion and their dedication to world research are Sarah Stevens, Mario Padilla, and Russ Pecorero. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. And who wants to introduce the friends that you brought? Yeah, I could introduce some of these okay. friends. Um, I have Rosie right here in my hands. Whoa, so this is our famous Chilean rose hair tarantula. Oh, there, you oh, go. there we see go. We can see her. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty spider. Um, we have some milkweed longhorn beetles here. Mm. Praying mantis, actually a species of tarantula that's native to the state of Colorado. Okay. So this one lives right here in Colorado. Wow. And some other beetles um, that we have native to the state as well. All right. So the butterfly pavilion. We know about the opportunity to go and see all that uh, the butterfly pavilion has to offer or even hold uh, Rosie, and um, what else do you have? You have all kinds of things going on throughout yeah, the year. Yeah, um, we have a brand new exhibit, and Sarah could probably tell you a little bit about that exhibit. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, so for this brand new exhibit, uh, we have put on display our new mantis shrimp, uh, which is an amazing, awesome creature named after uh, Colorado Rockies' own Ch uh, Chuck Nasty. It's Chuck Smashty, <laughs> because it's the heavy hitter of the marine world. And mantis shrimp are incredible animals. They're really um, phenomenal. They can move at speeds that are close to the speed of a 22 caliber bullet. Oh. Um, they have a hit that can hit almost to that fast. And when they hit underwater, you can even hear it. That's so, incredible. Very incredible animals. I love this video, by the way. I saw it the other day. It cracks me up because <laughs> that is just, he's at work. They're I mean, very Chuck is at work. Yeah, very into home renovation. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so a, a visit to the Colorado Butter Butterfly Pavilion is known to transport people um, around the world and offering opportunities to get up close and personal uh, with animals like Chuck and Rosie and what have you. Um, but about Colorado animals, let's talk about those. Yeah, definitely, and I brought some today. So we have this brand new exhibit. It's on my shirt right here. It's called Colorado Backyard. Yeah. And it's talking to people about all of the animals that they have in their own backyards that they might not notice on an everyday basis. But we want to get them familiar with all the different beautiful, wonderful ecosystems we have here in the state, including deserts, prairies, um, wetland areas, and even some of the urban areas. Maybe you have a cockroach or maybe a daddy long leg in your backyard and you want to learn more about it. Well, we have all those animals on display. And that's some of the animals that we brought here today. You might see these in your own backyard and might not even know it. I love it. And I think that's such a great idea because we are, we're a high desert. There's lots of wildlife. There's all kinds of things. I always see pictures People are like, what is this? Does somebody know what this is? And just trying to figure out what wildlife is living among us. So that's wonderful. All right, so more than running a zoo, which you're not running a zoo, but you have such great animals to uh, explore. You're also doing some wonderful research as well. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, Butterfly Pavilion is more than the place where you hold Rosie and interact with butterflies. We're actually um, the only AZA uh, associations of zoos and aquariums accredited uh, invertebrate zoo in the entire world and as such you know, we take a responsibility to really be out there and pushing forward the the research and conservation of these animals so you know at any one time we'll have more studies going on at butterfly pavilion than zoos three four or five times our size wow. have going on um, Sarah right now is working on um, breeding um, uh, a native form of uh, dragonfly uh, okay. under human care which has never been done before so um, something really really cool and groundbreaking we're doing. Mario just got back from Tanzania where he was helping the locals there uh, install bee fences to help mitigate the human elephant conflict. And he could probably tell you a little bit more about you know, what they were doing out there and, and how uh, uh, something as small as a bee can help um, you know, mitigate, mitigate that conflict between humans and That and is incredible. Yeah. I would love for you to yeah. share that with so, us. So like here in Colorado, we might have a little wildlife conflict. Maybe you run into a bear every once in a while or uh, an elk comes into your yard and eats your flowers or a deer. But in Africa and Asia, elephants come in and eat people's crops and that's their wow. livelihood. They grow food to feed themselves and to, to sell. And um, there's a great thing that people have been developing about 10 years is you could put beehives around your farms and those beehives um, are on a string. And when the elephant hits the string, it shakes the beehive a little bit Bees come out, sting the elephant, and the elephant runs away instead of eating that, those oh, crops. Oh my goodness. So it helps with elephant conservation as well as um, bee conservation, and it helps people um, have a livelihood for themselves. Wow, yeah. that's incredible, and thank you for sharing that. Oh, I'm yeah. going to hold We're going to hold Rosie. Rosie. All right, yes. let's do it. I'm oh just going to put her right here on your hand. 
How beautiful is she? And if your hand's warm, she might stick around. Okay, a little she bit. actually is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but look at oh, when you so rosy because she has the rose color on the back exactly. of her back. So I didn't I didn't get close enough to see it, but now you I wanna, see it. Yeah. Do you okay, want? Okay, now I'm addicted. Okay. We now. Go again. <laughs> I have chills, but there she's she goes. beautiful. What a beautiful animal. Yep, that's what they call her, the Chilean rose here. So right on her head, oh look, she's nice and happy. They have that little oh. kind of rosy coloring right on the top of her head. She's something else, and I, I just, I think I'm in love. Great, yes. she matches your nail polish perfectly. I know, this is awesome, right? I love oh, it. Thank you so You're much, welcome. that was such a treat. Let's talk about where the Butterfly Pavilion is located and how we can find out more information about all that you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah, we're right off of Highway 36. Um, it's at, on 101st or 104th Avenue, um, and you know we're right there. Uh, just a short drive from Denver. Love to see people come out, and you know, there's a lot of ways people can get involved with Butterfly Pavilion. One, you can visit and learn. Um, not only can you come to Butterfly Pavilion, but you know, we host 50,000 school kids every year. I so know. teachers can um, you know, get a field trip uh, for their kids. If you can't get a bus to come to us, we can come to you. Our, uh, our outreach is amazing. We do um, distance learning, so you can do it over the internet. Um, lots of ways to learn about invertebrates. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can also volunteer. Uh, we do all kinds of great programs. Not only can you uh, come and you know, work on the floor, help people get to know Rosie and, uh, and learn more about how awesome she is, but you know, we also uh, host uh, corporations all the time who come out and do you know, big community projects, restoring habitat, all that kind of thing. Oh, so uh, much. And then you can always give. Right, and so there's you know the regular donations you can give, but you know we also are um, we're announcing today a partnership we have with Tico Tea Company here in uh, right here in Denver, uh, and a portion of the proceeds of every can that they sell um, will go to Butterfly Pavilion. Outstanding, so outstanding. Out of Lots of support, a Colorado staple. We're so glad you're here, and thank you for gracing me with her presence. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You can come visit the Butterfly Pavilion, open year-round from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't miss out. Last entry is 415 daily. Go visit Mantis Shrimp Chuck, Chuck Nasty, one of the newest exhibits, and learn more about the Butterfly Pavilion's permanent exhibits, other promotions and events, plus the important educational research that that they are conducting at butterflies.org. That's butterflies.org, or you can give them a call, 303-469-5441.